Hey there, I'm Mark and today we will learn how to replace sky in the picture. I post two tutorials like this every week, so if you want to learn more about Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Alright, let's get started. Here's my original picture and our goal is to get rid of the original sky and put something new there. I will start from making duplicate just in case and we will work on the copy. There is a special tool that will help us with the first step, removing old backdrop. It's hidden below erase a brush. It's called background erase brush. This is the special one. This is smart brush. So he will protect uh, foreground and remove only background. How he can know what is foreground? It depends where is the center of the brush. So if the center of this brush touches backdrop, everything should be fine. But at the moment that you touch the object, you put this brush too much inside the object, like this, you will be erasing the object itself. So keep in mind, you can only put around 40-30% of this brush on the foreground object. Rest should be backdrop, all right? This brush, this eraser tool try to avoid the foreground object and only erase the backdrop. So by using this tool, we can avoid this quite hard and time-consuming precise selection because we don't need to actually select the lady here we can just erase the background all around her so this is like alternative way of separating isolating foreground objects all right so i'm just tapping with this background erase the brush all around her i want to isolate background from foreground very very quick process in my opinion much faster than precise selection so be sure you check out this tool and now we can also separate this button part of the image here my tolerance is too high so i need to reduce that a little bit and now it's perfect so we can also play with the tolerance slider as well all right i separate the left side of the image just a little bit more here I think I will undo and modify tolerance. I should get better result. And now I can lower that again around the rocks. That's it. Everything is isolated. Now we can just simply use classic eraser brush, normal one to get rid of the rest of the background. All right. You can make the brush brush much larger using square brackets. That's the shortcut for changing the brush size square brackets on your keyboard. Good practice is to actually add some color, like for example, green color behind the picture. So you can easily see that you skip some, something or not. The white is not ideal, so the green or, so, or other colors, like strong colors like this, will help you to track your progress. You can easily see if you skip something, if you left piece of the old backdrop there. So I'm using now normal eraser brush, eraser tool to erase what is left. At first I isolate foreground from background using the smart eraser brush and now I'm using normal one. All right, just few more strokes and we get rid of the old sky. Now we need to search for a new image that we can place in the backdrop here. Let me get rid of this green color. I don't need it any longer. Now I can explore this built-in stock bank, stock search here, and you can search for sky and then simply drag and drop new sky from here if you like. So I will change it drastically by adding very dynamic orange sky like this. I need to place this behind the foreground object, of course. So 
let me just rename this new sky and pull it down to place it behind the foreground object here all right looks super fake but don't worry we'll add few more effects to make this transition smoother first i need to scale it up a little bit and position like this all right almost good a little bit bigger and this will be kind of my final size for this new sky so i can i can just let it be like this so i can trim it and i got my new sky in position now we will work on this foreground object to make this transition smoother so this foreground object will blend better with this new backdrop as you can see there are some like blue ghosts all around indicating that the previous backdrop was blue cold so we will try to smooth this by selecting everything i just hold command key and click on the layer everything is selected now i need to select any selection tool so i can see refine button at the top with everything selected click refine and from here you can make some tiny adjustments that will refine the selection i can also point that this element is actually backdrop by brushing on it and now we can just move for one one minus one and output will be a new layer for us apply and here it is it's definitely better let me just zoom in so we can compare with the original one so this refine feature get rid of this blue color take a look i will switch off yeah we got this now before we got kind of like one blue pixel all around foreground so we remove that using refine feature to see the refine button you need to select any selection tool so that keep that in mind if you cannot see refine button mean you need to select any selection tool from the toolbar on the left all right so our foreground is cold and background is warm so i will need to adjust color for the foreground using adjustment panel so we can put like orange filter that will change the foreground atmosphere to be warmer to match with our new sky let's just adjust the slider much better so this foreground object will be also warm i don't want to modify the backdrop the sky so i will pull this adjustment layer inside the foreground object this way it will affect only the foreground it's affecting only the foreground not the new backdrop all right so thanks to this orange filter now our foreground is matching new backdrop that's nice we can also add a spotlight from the sun by adding new pixel layer and for this trick we will use gradient tool this will be radial gradient at very top of this project and it will be pointing from this sun we get sun in the background on the sky here so from here gradient like this let's modify color for it it will go from orange orange bright orange to some darker color like this all right almost black okay let's now change the opacity and the blending mode for this spotlight layer so we need to blend it as light this is our light layer and it should be on very top of this composition nice we got much better result now the background it's blending with the foreground much better you cannot say straight away that this is fake image all right maybe one last thing we can try it will be in a glow from the layer style panel for the foreground just a little bit of glow 
that match the color of the sky. So something warm, like orange or yellow, very, very slightly glow around. I will reduce opacity a lot here. I want this to be almost transparent completely, just a very, very gentle glow. And our background replacement project is finished. So first we remove the original sky using background eraser brush. Then simply put a new image for sky for backdrop below the foreground layer. And at the very end we adjust colors to match a new backdrop. And that's it. All right, I hope you liked this backdrop eraser tool is very handy and much faster than precise selection in many cases. For more tutorials, follow my YouTube channel. See you in the next one.